<laughs> you ain't never been on E-Block, bitch. You too excited. <laughs> Check one, check two, check one, check two. Live in the motherfucking building. Yeah, we live. We live. Monday morning. Yeah. 1025. On the late as a fuck. Yep. Used to be 10 o'clock. Then it was 1015. Nah, it's 1025. This would be 11 o'clock in a little while. Shit. Yeah, it's going to be noon now. Right. <clears throat> Let's just go come on whenever and shit. Fucking just go stop putting time on that bitch. <laughs> Got some people coming in. What up, though? Yes, it do. Got, shit froze. We don't might know what's do, happening. We might do need it right. We do. I think it's something else under here. Yeah, this shit hella freezing. I don't know what's going on. Is it something here? Let's Niggas see. left all kind of shit over here. Yeah, yeah, it's hella buffering. I don't know what's going on. Computer acting real weak. Shit this weekend. I don't know. What happened and shit, dog? Uh, we in here, though. Y'all niggas ready to get to it? Mm-hmm. 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 If you are now listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or Pandora, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you become a uh, subscriber and get notified every time we upload our audio. And of course, to keep the lights on around this motherfucker, we do uh, suggest uh, that you uh, submit to our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash eblock radio. All right, so make sure you check us out there. All right, let's get to the shits. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, cuz. Straight from the E Block Radio Live on your dial right this moment, man. This is the Wake and Bake Show. Got my man Angry Man in the building. Mm-hmm. Got my man Monk Money holding it down. It's 1026, yo. <laughs> of course, man. It's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. From the 48205, man. Let's get to it, dog. Monday morning and shit. How was y'all niggas' weekends, dog? Angry Man, what's popping with you, dog? How was your weekend, bro? Um, <clears throat> shit. Let me clear that out. Oh, weekend was my weekend. You know, spent some time with my old man. Um, went to work, watched some color television, had a couple dreams. That was about it. That's what's up. Yeah. Been having a lot of dreams lately. I know, right? I, I, I don't know if I should be worried about that or... I mean, I guess you can't really be worried unless you knew what you dreamed about. So, if you don't know what you dreamed about, I guess it don't really count. Exactly. I don't fucking know, man. But nah, man, I've just been chilling, man. You know, trying to get some shit done. Got right. some work done on one of my trucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish that job up today because I have a day off. That's what's up. If that mean anything to anybody? <laughs> to you, maybe. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck to do on off day. Well, you can get finish getting that work done. I guess that's what's going on. Yeah, but that's not gonna take that long. Then, then what do you do? Enjoy your time off. I mean, you got a whole family and shit. I'm sure you can figure out something to do. And then the kids ain't trying to fuck with me. I ain't trying to fuck with them. You got 13, one of them, Mike. You right. say I got 13 <laughs> kids. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I guess because because I don't have no motherfucking family and shit, I find it odd when motherfuckers got a whole family and can't find shit to do on a day off. I, don't, I think that's just odd. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. When I have a day off and shit, you know, because I, I have a job. <laughs> Fuck you, Tommy. Sometimes I, it, it's hard right. to find shit to do. You know what I'm right. saying? But we got a whole family, niggas. There's plenty of shit to do. No. So, no Enjoy no that time off with your family. Just me and they circumference. They don't want me and they circumference. If you had one, you had a lot of time to spend with them. Not really. Because I still do a lot of work. You don't have a job. That don't mean. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This the only nigga I know be on conference calls and ain't got no goddamn <coughs> job. This is a job. How the fuck you be on conference? Who, who are you talking to? No All job. of this is a job. You know, job, Tony. No, All this is a job. No, Mark. You know what it is? That's how you know when you a motherfucking star, nigga. <laughs> niggas, niggas just chime in. Just, to, just they just want you on conference calls just to hear you speak. Yeah, you get you a star. Sold out seats to hear Q Lewis speak. Nigga ain't got a job, but on every goddamn conference call in the world. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Not every conference call, just one. I only got one conference call a week, nigga. Mm-hmm. Whatever, That's it. Nigga. And it's a job, nigga. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, if that's what you it's said. Just, it's just remote. If that's what you said. That's all. It's just remote, dog. This nigga, dog. Anything jealous. else going on with you, dog? I'm jealous. <laughs> I don't see how, though. You should be too, man. I'm jealous. Definitely. I don't see how, though. Y'all doing what y'all love, dog. And I'm you, doing what I love. Yeah, I which is absolutely nothing. Only nigga I know to get two fucking trucks and a condo in one year with no fucking job, dog. <laughs> two trucks. That would be one truck. Two I, trucks. I, I, I sold one back, nigga. That don't, that don't make it two. Fat nigga. daddy two trucks. Right. <laughs> yes, I'm hating right now. <laughs> I'm working, nigga. Fat ain't, daddy ain't two trucks. Ain't got a job the first. Old Tommy ass nigga, man. I'm working hard, nigga. This, you know, all this editing and motherfucking graphic design shit, nigga. This is work. I don't have to leave the house to do it. <laughs> Damn, nigga. I don't want that shit. Yes. Yeah, it still worked, though. Oh, anyway, what what else going on with you this weekend, up? Oh, uh, not much, man. <laughs> just, you know, trying to stay relevant. Fuck off me and shit. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to keep up with you, nigga. I got to get out your line. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got to go to work to, you know, make shit happen. You know, you just... Hey, you got 13 kids, nigga. I, just, I, I ain't got 13, 13 kids, kids sir. You stop saying that shit, bro. So I can do this type of shit, nigga. The whole litter. <laughs> the whole litter. For the people that's listening, it's only four. Allegedly. Allegedly four. What? Yeah, we think you got a whole Did you just say that live on there? Allegedly. No, we all know you got a whole nother family, nigga. It's cool, though. Because there's no way that it ever take nobody this long to go to the store. This nigga go get bread for five hours. I know you got to go pick up, uh, what we say? Junior, junior. Junior, junior. <laughs> Angry junior, junior. <laughs> <laughs> Radar Superstar 2 I'm glad he can't listen to this I mean it's, it's cool man I, It's all good though That's all I'm saying it, it's all it, good. it takes me a while to go to the store for a couple of reasons yeah. I, I drive slow For sure And I'm particular about the bread mm-hmm. that I pick out you know yeah. I mean? Oh some Liberty checking in Say we did this topic before I don't think so What's the topic is this? Uh, about the higher the higher earning women are they less attractive? I, and the reason we picked this and shit, I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Um, but is a uh, somebody? Yeah, it might have been I don't know, but somebody actually posted this video, and I don't know who these dudes is. It was on Twitter, but uh, they was having this whole conversation about that. So I just wanted to see what you know y'all thought about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually play the video too, so y'all can see uh, see these dudes and you know see what they was talking about. Uh-huh. But anyway, uh, yeah. So you done this, you know? <laughs> My money was my. I'm with you this weekend. Yeah, get dog. off me. Get yeah, I'm off you, dog. My money. Uh, how's your weekend, bro? Man, my weekend went straight, bro. You know, what I'm saying I worked. I worked through it, though. You know, what I'm saying, but I kept it low to the floor, like ass staying out the motherfucking way. <laughs> um, shit. Like I said, bro, I did shit, bro. I watched this fucking. I did watch this one little shit, weird shit on Netflix. This time, I, I'm not cool with this. Uh, uh, I'm not cool with that or something. Like, Something like that. It's about, that it's, it's about this little, this little, uh, this girl, man. She was like a little nerd and shit. She get, but it's good, man. You gotta check it out, bro. Because yeah. it had me stuck. I had to watch it all. You know what I mean? So it was pretty good. Hmm. Uh, other than that, dog, like I said, bro, I ain't do too much of shit. Um, yeah, I ain't do nothing. I, ain't do <laughs> I, was, about, I, I was about to say something. I ain't like, what the fuck? We just had the whole discussion about. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay then. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> my weekend. Uh, what up, Bo? Bo just checking in. What's what's the deal? My Bo. guy. Um, this weekend, yeah, it was kind of chill. I, I was just spending a little time with the family. Though, still, uh, you know, dealing with some family concerns there. Again, shout out to my my whole family and shit. You know, rest in peace to my uncle. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you getting through that stuff? Uh, shit, this weekend, yeah, did uh, no, we did a shot podcast yesterday or yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday. Turned into one of the uh, dopest freestyle sessions like ever. Like I almost jumped in and shit. It was like it was that hype, but I ain't had no microphone, so I was just like, "Fucking, I'm gonna right. let these niggas go for it." That right. shit. So we did the uh, did the the regular shit, the regular freestyle during the show, but then these niggas just bust out after the show. I think we got like 14 minutes of these niggas rapping and shit. Uh, yeah. Even Shy had to jump in that motherfucker. So. Yeah. That shit was dope though So uh, that should be coming out Tomorrow night 8pm Eastern Standard Time Eblockradio.com 
Uh, shout out to my man Fees and uh, HP Trice, uh, niggas from HP and shit that was holding it down. Shout out to Diddy. HP, fuck this. with that nigga, dog. He should be like the king of podcasts in the HP. No, I'm telling you, when he went to their listening party and shit, all these niggas thought he was from HP and shit. They ain't know he was from Detroit and shit. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's what's up. Uh, Bo said he's seen a little shot hoop video. Y'all seen that shit? It's a little highlight reel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, he put that bitch together and shit, and uh, put it out on Facebook or some shit. Dog, it make it so easy, like for a nigga not to. I don't know. I guess I can say this for a nigga not to get recruited or get some kind of look or at least have some kind of uh, highlight film and shit is the most dumbest thing ever because like it's so accessible now. Back in the day, we had to have fucking VHS tapes and niggas trying to cut mm-hmm. shit. And like now, the, the fucking school video and all you gotta do is cut and paste. Nigga. Mm-hmm. Like you can chop that bitch up yourself, make your own shit. <clears throat> but you gotta think, man, it, it's not that easy for a lot of people. Okay. I mean, what's easy to you may not be easy to somebody else. So what you might need to do is start charging motherfuckers to go out there to uh, to do their shit. No, I'm saying the, the school. The schools are filming, it. like yeah, yeah, because yeah, they, they, they're not gonna do shit. I'm saying the schools are already doing it. I'm saying like the shit is accessible. It's accessible, but Rashad, I don't do it. Rashad actually just like this was the shit on the school's website. He put the motherfucker together on his phone. Like this shit is too simple, nigga. I mean, like I said, not 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 in DPS, man. Everything ain't as simple as you make making it seem. Man, who? So you trying to tell me it's the DPS school right now that's not filming games? Yeah, who the fuck is, man? All, all, all the motherfuckers ain't filming no goddamn games. All right, dog. If you say so. I guess you you got kids in school and shit, so I so I take your word for you. it. Like, I take <laughs> no, your word no, for it. I'm shit. not trying to be funny, but that's what I'm telling you. Yeah. That what you talking in, in, in all DPS schools are not there. Yeah. No, I'm, and I'm being dead serious, and mm-hmm. it's fucked up. I agree with you. They yeah. shouldn't be able to know how to do that shit. Right. But it's it's okay because of the the high school we went to. Mm-hmm. No Martin Luther King Jr. Senior High School, best high school in the motherfucking city, yeah, down by the Riverside. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? His squad. You know what I'm saying? His but, squad. Full life, nigga. What up, my niggas? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you got a couple other high schools that I ain't gonna. You know, maybe them boys on Grand River doing it. Yeah. Or fucking you know, niggas. They would maybe shall remain remain nameless. Yeah. Maybe the motherfuckers on West Side of Drive doing it. Yeah. But, probably so. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it and it's fucked up though. Yeah. It should be there, but it ain't. Yeah, niggas on Cashew probably doing it now and shit. Ain't that Cashew? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Yeah. And then speaking of, Rated R had his first basketball game this weekend. Oh, yeah. How was that shit, dog? You ain't mention that shit. I asked y'all the weekend when you ain't mention that shit. Yeah, it was probably. How was it? I, I, I got there like two minutes left in the game uh-huh. because GPS sent me all over the world because <laughs> I was coming from, you know, way out there. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it was all bad. <laughs> It was all bad. Yeah, the score was uh, 29 to 1. Dog, 1. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was all bad, man. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, Who so, scored the 1? I, 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 I didn't even ask. <laughs> I was just going to ask like that. Yeah, I didn't even ask. Who scored the 1 around this bitch, dog? So, uh, we, yeah, we going to work on that. Mm-hmm. Rashad, where you at, bro? All bad, dog. Where you oh, at, Rashad? Oh, man. I need spank. <laughs> need Rashad, I need spank. Right. <laughs> Two coach niggas and shit up yeah, Come on, Rashad. Spank. Yeah, man. Yeah. Spank. Where you now, at? Now, his defense is okay. Uh-huh. Now, it's just, defense is good? Yeah, just he, he one of the motherfuckers when he get the ball, he freeze from what I'm, from what I'm understanding. Yeah. Right, well, uh, better luck next time. Right, 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 right. You nigga score one point. <laughs> All oh, back. Damn. That's crazy. Well, did he have fun though? Does yeah. he? Does he want to go back? Yeah. I mean, oh, we good. I, then. I, the only thing he was concerned about after the game was uh, he didn't have enough meat on his nachos. Dog. <laughs> That's the only thing he was concerned about. <laughs> Hell no. Seriously. Yeah, I'm trying to talk about the game. He like, nah, I need some more meat on my nachos, Dad. Like, yeah. you, don't, you don't care about that ass with me you just took. He was like, oh no, we'll go back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, right, well. <laughs> well, that's how I be, I guess. Yeah, as long as he mm-hmm. have fun. As long as he have fun, as long as he want to go back. It's but this cool. is his first sport. First time ever playing an organized sport. So yeah. I, I give him a pass okay. this year. I figured that you done. All right, well, shit, it's, uh, it's 1040. Cause, shit, we started late, so I guess we get into our shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is what we're talking about today. We're talking about, uh, we're talking about women's. Is women's <laughs> less attractive 
if they make more money, right? So I think we might have talked about some shit like this. Uh, probably not worded the exactly the same, but I got a video. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to May uh, sent me this video yesterday and shit. Topic of discussion. And um, I don't know who these dudes is though, because somebody reposted on Twitter, so I don't know who the actual dudes is. But I'm gonna play the video for y'all, and then we go have some uh, reactions to that shit. And we just go chop it up a little bit, dog. Uh, it's Monday, we go have a little fun with it, of course. Uh, but it might get a little serious too. You never know. But we're going to commercial break real quick. When we get back, let's uh, dive into it, dog. If she making more monies. More money. Is she less attractive? <laughs> Be back in a minute, dog. You already know what it is. The Live Cloud Radio Show. On the planet Earth, cuz Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your dial Right this moment, man This is The Wake and Bake Show What the fuck is that in my beard? <laughs> oh, anyway Alright, we'll be back What the fuck is it? Wake your ass up It's the Wake and Bake Show Live on eblockradio.com So you've been thinking about Starting a podcast But you just don't know Where to begin You've done some research But it seems a bit technical and honestly, can be a little frustrating. We're here to help. I'm Quincy L. Lewis, and along with my colleague, Miles Dixon, we've created the blueprint to help you create the podcast that you've always been dreaming about creating. Check out our ebook, Starting a Podcast, Quick Guide to Help You Get Started. Click the link in the description and order your ebook today. Overzealous police officers. Ancient laws that have been written over a hundred years ago. A criminal justice infrastructure that needs to be overhauled. A prison system that rivals slavery. All of these things are a recipe for mass incarceration. So I wrote a book about it. Get your copy today of my best-selling novel, Those Brilliant Bastards. This is a fictitious account of a non-fictional reality of being black in America. Check two, check one, check two. Live in the building, man. We back in the building, dog. Thanks for hanging out through the commercial breaks. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube and shit, I don't know if the shit's still working. I think it had buffered and stopped or some shit. It did for a hot second. Oh, okay. But we back on. All right, cool. All right, so we back in this thing, dog. You already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, cuz. Straight from the E-Block Radio, live on your dial right this moment, man. This is the Wake and Bake Show. Got my man, Angry Man, and Monk Money holding it down. Good yeah. Yeah. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, dog. Let's get to it, dog. I'm going to uh, play this joint and play this video so y'all can see what happened. So y'all can see uh, what we're talking about. Hopefully it worked. <laughs> about to see if we can pull it up here. Where is that shit at, cuz? Uh, I think I had it up there. There it is. We go play it. Hopefully it'll come up. There it is. All right, we're about to play it right quick. So I'll check that shit out. Cause literally, she says, I got a good job. I make very, very good money. And she says, the only thing I need now is a man. <laughs> it's like, yo, like, <laughs> it's like, who wants you? Who wants you? you you're right. right. Like, once you have achieved these things, you have, unfortunately, disqualified yourself. Ooh, and, and, shit. And what it is, is these, because I, and this is the thing. I'm not blaming Ooh, the, the women. women are gonna hate him for that shit. They are gonna hate him for that. They, they I can't wait it. to put this shit. It's literally. <laughs> All right, so y'all just seen the uh, y'all just seen the clip, dog, or heard the clip, or however you listening right now. So dogs say that she's uh, you know, well off, successful, got her little monies together, and uh, yeah, go ahead and take that shit. Yeah. Go let it burn up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so now she's a uh, disqualified. Or so this is the words that he used: disqualified. Huh? Angry man. Right? After hearing that, dog. Huh? And just like when, <laughs> yeah, just I don't know. Like, what you think about that shit, dog? 
What'd you think about what Dog said and the and his co his co host reactions though? Like that shit was weird. That shit was weird. That shit was hella weird. Like I do you agree with that in any shape, form, or fashion? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> right. Hell, motherfucker, no, I don't agree with that shit. Right. I don't. I mean, that's his opinion. He a grown man. He entitled to that. But that's just not my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. You don't disqualify yourself from shit. Right. You know what I'm saying you you qualify for shit. Right. Yeah. I mean, cause hell, what if you know one day I want to um you know bear children with your motherfucking ass? Yeah. You know I mean, I need you to set that some type of example for the motherfuckers. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, just period. Just be successful in life. Why would you not want somebody that's successful? That shit hella weird, dog. You know I couldn't saying? understand when no, I say that. No, you're not this good. I mean, shit. Because if you make more than me, if I'm not comfortable where I'm at, that's going to motivate me to try to do better. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that what you fucking want on exactly. your goddamn side? Uh-huh. You know, somebody that's going to make you do better? Like I said, I mean, let's keep it real, Mark. You know what I mean? She can make more, but if you comfortable with what you're doing and know you can take care of yourself and take care of your children, if that situation wasn't there, I don't have a problem with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a man of that motherfucking house. I don't yeah. give a fuck what you bring home. Ain't there like some whole ass shit? Dude? Like, yeah, like, <clears throat> man, I'm a man. I don't. I cringe for all mankind when I heard that shit. I don't know where that nigga come from. Like, why wouldn't you want somebody that's doing good? Like, yeah. like you rather have. A leech, right, like somebody. I, I like. I, I don't understand. Like, no, like, like if like she's successful, like, what the fuck? Like, what kind of shit? I'm, I, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally still confused. a man of that house. Right. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You can make more than me. You can. I don't give a fuck how mm. much more you make than me. I'm mm. still a man of that motherfucking house. Yeah. Regardless, I don't, I don't give a fuck especially if, you, if we married, you know, we you, and you still make more than me. I'm still the man of this motherfucking house. That, that's, right. that, that's, 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 that's good. That's gonna go without saying. Yeah, that's just shouldn't even, even you know be what I'm a, a thought though. You know what I mean? Like, like for real, for real, niggas. But I don't have an issue with her making but niggas more, bitch more up. money than me. <laughs> is that what it is? Niggas <laughs> bitching up. Yeah, and, and he I really don't, fucking and I, and I really don't think dog want to be in the situation where he got a bitch up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, niggas be bitching up. You know Those what I mean? are the ones that can't take care of themselves. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, now, nah, like or I said. Or take care of themselves too well that they feel like they need a woman that they need their help instead yeah. of fucking needing a Being woman that they need to feel necessary. necessary. Yeah. I got you. Okay. That could be a thing. Mm-hmm. I, that shit mm-hmm. crazy, though. That shit crazy. Mm-hmm. So I heard that shit. Um, so, yeah. Um, That's his opinion, though. Know. When she sent me that shit yesterday, I'm looking at it. And I was trying to find the, you know, the the rationale in it and shit. Like, may, all right, maybe it's coming from somewhere. Like, maybe it makes sense, right? So I, I looked at it several times. It's only thirty seconds. I looked at this shit several times. I'm trying to figure out like exactly what would make me feel that way though. Like, what would make me feel that way? Mm-hmm. That the bitch is disqualified. Like this, those are that's a pretty damning word, nigga. Man, disqualified. Disqualified. So now that you not you not available for nobody now because you successful. My, so my, what is that saying to women? Like, don't be successful, be leeches. leeches yeah, like, <laughs> like what the fuck, be here to take yeah. everything a nigga got. Like, what? Mm-hmm. I don't understand. Like, what? Mm-hmm. What message are you trying to? And especially how we complain about shit like that. <laughs> about then. women being leeches. Yeah, like, <laughs> right. like God damn, nigga. Like, and then you finally get one that's, um, I mean, that that qualifies that, for exactly can qualify for any job, qualify for any credit card, qualify for <laughs> right. any car, nigga, co-sign anything, nigga, huh? But she disqualified uh, for a relationship. You sound like a goddamn fool. You sound like a fool, bro. Nah, man. I don't understand that man, shit. Man, you sound like a like fool, said, bro. That's his opinion. He entitled to it, but he, I just don't agree with it. <laughs> but what about his man's and them, though? They, they agreed it looked like. Cause nah. one of them niggas was like, no, no, oh, no, okay. no. The nigga in the purple suit, he was like, no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> but, like, but like when he was telling the story, when he was saying how, you know, uh, she really got all this money and, and, and now... The one, the last thing she want, wants now is, or last thing she need now is a man or whatever, right? Well, she and wanted had, a man, or she wanted a man, whatever. So these niggas start laughing and shit. Like I, I don't know. It's just the the whole dynamic of that shit is just weird. She got herself together, so she's now she figured like, okay, I'm, I'm all I need now to complete my life is give me a nigga. I mean, that's what niggas say. Yeah. So what's the difference? Like we get my- our shit together, we like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and marry this bitch I've been fucking around with for thirty years. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what's the fucking difference? I don't get it. No I, I would love to hear an explanation, but not an explanation because you don't owe me that. Because it's thirty seconds, so I would actually like to see the whole yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so if y'all watching right now and you seen that clip and you know who these niggas are, like 
let me know because I, I want to see the podcast. I want to see the full podcast. Yeah. And that's probably all it is. It's probably clickbait to make a nigga watch that shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's working because we're talking be, about yeah, They might be all right. They might be all right. Exactly. But it's probably just clickbait to make us go watch the shit. It worked too because I want to see this motherfucker. I got to I gotta figure out. So the hook, line, and sinker it. I got to figure out. Because dog, I don't understand dog, bro. Like, I really don't understand dog. Like, she qualifies, bro. And this she this definitely is, qualifies, bro. This is off the this is off the subject a little bit. And I, I wish I had the clip for this, but it's a it's some more disturbing shit I've seen on the nigga podcast. Uh, shout out to uh, Sherelle. Sherelle had posted this on IG um, yesterday. But it's these two niggas that are doing the podcast and they interviewing my man's off of uh, Power, right off of uh, the uh, you know the book two shit, the hoop nigga and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, apparently they're suggesting that he's gay and shit, right? So I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I never really seen the nigga outside of you know playing on power, but um, they was like, <laughs> I'm confused with niggas though. They was like they was literally badgering this nigga though. Like he was asking him, asked the nigga about like some chicks and shit. Dog was like, I'm a single individual right now. He was like, you know what do that mean and shit. So dog just like was like, well, I'm in a situation now where I kind of I'm only liking the people that that like me and shit. So man, dog like. So people, that could mean a woman or a male. So like trying to force them into the corner yeah. and shit. Mm. But then like when dog was kind of like evading the answer and shit, it's like dude got hostile and shit. I was like, bro, bro, why why is it this important for you to know if this nigga gay or not? Like you trying to fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 I was like, niggas is weird, bro. Weird. Like, I, so I mean, he real literally badgering this nigga on the podcast, like forcing him to 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 I guess say what his sexuality is. Like, nigga, why is it that important to you? That's crazy. You trying to fuck this man? Like, I yeah, I don't understand, crazy. nigga. I, he said probably. <laughs> Yeah, probably. And the niggas like him probably say some shit like what my man just said. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because that's ain't no way they had, that's weird. These that's weird. weird as fuck. weird as fuck. That's that's what I'm saying. Like the dude that said that comment that we talked about before, bro. Yeah. He weird as fuck, bro. <laughs> right. Because I wonder if he believe that shit. I think niggas like that like scared a woman with some structure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She got her shit together, bro. She get mm-hmm. on the level. She she did her shit just like she said checklist, nigga. Yeah. She checked that shit off. Yeah. And you scared? Just so happened, the nigga was the last thing on the checklist, <laughs> right? <laughs> And I don't so know what? what I don't know what I made the list nigga. nigga I'm lucky You <laughs> lucky nigga What the fuck Is you talking about And then she has Any, any interest in you like, And she's in love with you Did Less you? attractive nigga, come And on. disqualified Duh Yes crazy. nigga I'm down Disqualified mm-hmm. nigga Nah, nah, so she disqualified For a relationship This bitch life is over Like she got to You got to live This success lonely <laughs> Right Let You know let dog say it That shit, that shit crazy right that shit crazy. Well, I guess that's the I mean, question, man. So I'm, 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 I mean, I want to ask, like, uh, does, does the strong women intimidate you for some reason? Yeah. There's, There's got to be this. something like that. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, because shit, dog, we done walked into some rooms. Yeah, for with, sure. With, 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 with some A1s, and we all can stand our fucking own. That's sure. why our crew is our crew. Yeah, you know, sure. so, yeah, I mean, I don't but, even understand the concept. Yeah, we, we. I don't think none of us have never been intimidated by a woman, no, nah, no matter how beautiful nah. she is. Or this some of my probably should have been. I ain't even gonna. Right. <laughs> all my all my gold teeth, nigga, they ain't gold for it. They just smoke a lot of weed, so they yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Still be in a bitch face. <laughs> Beatbox like a motherfucker. <laughs> right, but yeah, that shit just that shit that, weird. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, okay. So I'm not exaggerating then. No, no okay. I mean, like I said, I would love to see the rest of that show because, like I said, it yeah. could be a fire ass show. It could be funny. It could, could be, funny. be something like you said. They they just drawing people in. We're drawing cool. people in, which is yeah, cool because it, it works. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, it definitely yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I just <laughs> I'm just interested to hear the rest of the show. But if I watch it, because I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it because I think this is probably some shit that's been been going moving around. So I'm pretty sure it might go viral a little bit. Um, but oh, what's that? Oh, okay, yeah, shit froze up on YouTube. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's some shit that's going around. So I'll be able to find this podcast now. If I go to if I find this motherfucking podcast and watch the whole episode and they on the same shit, then these niggas is weirdos. Yeah, weirdos. So I, I'm a. I'm go uh I'm gonna refrain from calling them weirdos yet. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna find this motherfucking podcast. Now, a, if I watch this whole shit, here, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah some, I don't wanna watch dog, the show now. Dog when, when for I find sure it though, I'm weirdo. A, the one who said it for the one who said it. <laughs> sure <I'm a> weirdo. <laughs> right. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna find it. And when I find it, dog, I'm gonna I'm gonna send y'all niggas a link and I'm gonna watch it. Cause I, I owe I owe them that. So they they 
They pre weirdos at this point. Yeah. But if I watch this motherfucking dog and lay all that same shit through the whole, these niggas is weirdos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. So I'm gonna ask y'all this, just uh, kind of piggybacking on what they said. Um, is it a is it a necessity or how much of a necessity is it for a man to feel like um, he's needed or necessary? Cause I'm guessing that's where this is this mm-hmm. is is a uh, spurring from. So how necessary is it for you to feel like? You are absolutely needed in the household and shit. Like, is that a, is that a thing? Does what? that define your manhood? Like that that you are the crutch that the whole family leans on? What? No, oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm just I'm asking because no, I I'm, I'm guessing that's where it's stemming from. The I mean, whole thing in family, man. I just want you to love on me, bro. I don't give a fuck what you bring to the table at, the, yeah. at some point, but you gonna have to bring something to the table. <laughs> you feel me? At right. the same time, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't want nobody lacking. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but still, like. No matter what the situation is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm, I got you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, just, it's just what it is, you know what I mean? Like, family is family, you know? You you, you, you come home and say shit to your family that you only wouldn't say in the street to a lot of motherfuckers, oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So they know sure. all everything, you know what I mean? Right. And what goes on in this house stays in this house, yeah. you feel me? Like, sure. It's just what it is, bro. I don't know that. What you saying, man? Like, is it important for you? Do I have to feel needed? Yeah. In my household to be a man. Yeah, because I'm, I'm guessing that's what these no. niggas are saying. Yeah. Right. I'm going to do me. Yeah. I'm going to do what I got to do regardless. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, because at one point they're going to grow up and not like you anyway and move any goddamn way. Uh-huh. <laughs> they go like, so, fuck no. you, daddy. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm doing pretty me. much. I, I don't, Thanks that pretty much. You know what? I'm not basically. I'm not looking for the paycheck. I'm doing it because I have to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I mean the paycheck, okay. I don't have to have you tell me every day that I love you. I appreciate you. You don't mm-hmm. have to do that. Yeah. You know you do it by bringing home good grades as a kid. You mm-hmm. do it by being faithful as a wife. You do it by you know just doing simple shit. True. Yeah. True. You know what I saying? did. I did that. You're gonna do it by doing that. You yeah. know, I don't need the the reward from yeah. you because it. like uh, <laughs> the other day, um, the rated R thanked me for buying him a coney dog and chili fries. <laughs> I yeah. come home from work. I'm like, well, man, what's wrong with you? He's sitting there like, you know, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm like, right, did you tell your mama? Right. He's Niggas like, no, I'm hungry. hungry. I'm like, all right, what you want to eat? He's like, I want some chili dog and chili fries. I went and got it. And the nigga thanked the shit out of me. I'm like, son, you don't have to thank me for food. I didn't even start with start. He was home Kong. <laughs> No, but that's the type of shit he do. He don't give, I mean, I don't give a fuck if you buy him a bag of chips. I appreciate yeah. the fact that he'll be like, thanks, pops. You know what I'm saying? But... At the end of the day, like I told him, you don't have to thank me for food, son. <laughs> and, 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 I mean, he ain't got, he ain't got to, but, but my thing I appreciate is, it, but you don't have to. You don't yeah. have to. Don't, you ain't got to. You don't. This it, is what you're not supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, it's my obligation to feed yeah, you, son. Yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. to thank me for food, man. Yeah, you tell me you're hungry, nigga, we're going to eat. You know what I'm saying? There it is. That's it. That's it. Right. You know Especially saying? fucking with me, because we're going to eat. Like, All right. Oh, like, shit. Like, we're going to eat, oh, eat. Shit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you might cook, man? You see, if anybody see my kids, man, y'all. I know how we get down, bro. Like, we ain't finna lack no fucking meal. That's one thing I ain't gonna never let happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. We ain't gonna never be hungry. You know what I'm saying? We don't be nothing else. Never, 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 never gonna be hungry, <laughs> no, nigga. No, never. Gotta you know worry about that shit at all. Ever, you know? And that's just what it is, bro. I'm gonna make sure we eat deli- good food, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, really delicious shit. You know what I'm saying? Good. So, well, I mean, that's, that's my know. obligation. So, me doing that and, 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 and a little appreciation. I ain't gonna say it don't count for nothing. It goes a long way. That shit like mm-hmm. that. You saying you saying he don't have to do that shit, but yeah. you hearing that shit made you feel good at some point. Like I'm doing my shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But but that's what you're supposed to do as a father, right. as a father figure for your family. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you provide. That's our job. You know what yeah. I mean? Like to provide. So so right, and that's that's the thing, right? That's that's how men feel and shit. So if you if you don't feel you in a position that you have to provide, then maybe that's where this commentary from my man is coming from like if he don't feel like he in the, in that position where he had to be the provider then maybe man getting hell I'm, just, of, I'm just trying to see but, but, but from this get, nigga standpoint getting hell of a sis for my old lady yeah. man, come on bro that's a hell of a squad like come on that don't make sense to me like right. she doing hell of a sis like baby I got it you yeah. know what I'm saying like alright 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's yeah. beautiful to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? We doing as a team now. It's, it's I think it's like selfish at some point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you could just think about like like what you supposed to do. To, no, y'all together at one point. Like yeah. you and your old lady gonna be together forever. Right. Your kids gonna grow up and leave at some point, like he said. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So with that being said, nigga, you gonna have to rock it out with this motherfucker right here. So <laughs> this is your right. this you supposed to treat this motherfucker like a teammate and a lover all at the same time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's how this shit just supposed sure. to work. Like. I don't give a fuck about finances. Shout out to love, doctor. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's supposed to be, goddamn. I don't give a fuck about finances. I don't give a fuck about nothing that's going on in the world. And if y'all roll, if y'all happy, nigga, that's the only thing matters. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. fuck what's going yeah. on out there. You know what I'm saying? We, we doing she... this shit right here, and we smiling, and we eating, <laughs> exactly, and we smiling, <laughs> right, right, Cause, cause and we. And niggas that have more money than us, have more money than us, more situation than us. They they still have fucking problems in their home that that. That's nah. pr pretty fucked up, man. Nah, that's, we that's can be sure. happy about some shit, you know what I'm saying, as a family, and don't have a lot of money. Right. Nigga, we, I think I'm winning on that point because I don't want to be miserable <laughs> right. for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? Worry about some money. Think about it, How many motherfuckers done passed up on some shit worried about what another nigga think? Man, shit. Your, many. your woman ain't supposed to make him happy. She's supposed right. to make your you ass happy. happy. Exactly. You satisfied and cool with the shit? Fuck yeah, what another nigga think, think, about. thinking about. That's for sure. I ain't laying next to you. I'm laying yeah, next to this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. So with the blue the face. And, and and she's successful and she bring you sandwiches and, right. and yeah. shit. She may not look good to you, but goddamn it, she's gorgeous to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck what you talking about. I don't gorgeous. Go fuck. She's gorgeous. beautiful. She's beautiful. No, that shit is wild though. I just I'm I'm really trying to wrap my head around it. I don't I don't agree with the statement at all. If you just now uh checking in, uh basically we had uh found this uh this clip on Twitter. I don't know who these dudes was as a podcast though. So basically dog was like um, is, is a woman who's out here successful making a lot of money and then she going through her checklist and now she wants to you know have a man in her life and Dawg say that at this point when she gets to that level of success and money making she is now disqualified from being in a, a solid relationship because nobody wants a woman who's making like a whole bunch of money based is what he's saying and I just I don't can't agree with that shit at all <laughs> I mean because some of the most vindictive conniving women are broke as fuck <laughs> So I take my chances. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the bitch that just did you the wrongest and had two fucking nickels to rub together, bro. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my chances with her fucking the pool boy. Yeah. Should I, you hey. feel me? Like I don't, I don't know. That's crazy. I may not go to every corporate dinner and outing, but yeah. you know what I mean. I ain't got no issue with it. But that's what you do, right? But exactly. I really don't. I'm not gonna hold you back just yeah. because you know I, I feel no. Yeah. I, I'm not understand. I mean, I'm not gonna hold you back because I feel like I can't be a man in this situation. I'm right. still gonna be the man in this fucking relationship, the exactly. household, everything. Right? Yeah, I don't give a fuck how much you make because mm -hmm. I'm always gonna be able to take care of my goddamn self. Exactly. Uh -huh. I feel. You. Yeah, when we go to these corporate events, they gonna be out like, "Oh, oh, this your nigga shit. This nigga don't have a job for real." <laughs> like, no, he don't. But he he pay his way. <laughs> <laughs> and he make a dog ass turkey burger yeah. and shit. Say, like, Tommy ain't got no job. <laughs> right, he ain't got no job, yeah, but he make a dog ass know, turkey burger. Man. You take care of my kids like they is and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, oh, that, that wouldn't that. be me. No, yeah, he'll do not that. really. I don't take care of kids. He'll do that now. Yeah, I, I don't though. I gotta get better at that because everybody got kids. They like, at my age, no, no woman that you meet barely is gonna have no kids and shit. I gotta get better at that because yeah. I, don't, I don't take care of kids well. They gotta be like a young adults that we can have conversations. If they got, if they a kid, kid, like yeah, I'm, I'm working on that, dog. Let me try to get. That. <laughs> Shout out to all the single moms and shit, man. If you in my inbox and shit, I, I love the kids. <laughs> I love the kids. A kid in the ten, you ain't for me. <laughs> kids got to be grown out the house type shit. And then your uterus got to be able to produce one more shit. Yeah, yeah shoot one more. Yeah. <laughs> shoot one more off that right. motherfucking sock. Give me one out the deal and shit. Wow. So look at the time. Um, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> About time to get up out of here, dog. Uh, very lively conversation today. We do got to get out of here on time today, though. Uh, even though we didn't start on time and shit, but we all get out of here somewhat on time today. Last minute comments, dog. If you got comments, go ahead and throw them into the comment box. We will read them live on the air. Dog, mm. this ain't got shit to do with what we talking about. But nigga, these gas prices, bro. I just oh, have to mention before we get off off air, nigga. This oh, ain't got man. shit to do with with none of this shit. Well, it kind of do though. Yeah. Cause she making a lot of money, man. She might just put some gas in my tanks, nigga. <laughs>
That shit literally went up like a dollar in two days. Yeah, that shit yes. like four dollars, four dollars and nine cents a gallon. Mm-hmm. It's four twenty nine out his way. They fooling out there. Mm-mm. Man, it's four sixty nine. It went up. Man, four sixty nine, four eighty nine with credit. Dog, that was just Saturday. Boy, <laughs> what, what Jennifer? At? They went up twice. No, they yeah, they fucking around. It's it's six dollars in L. A. No, mm-hmm. we need Jennifer. Yeah, Cause remember she cut that shit down a couple years ago. All these, all these motherfuckers gotta do something because they yeah, they tripping on where she at, man. Cause I mean that that shit don't make no goddamn sense. Cause the gas the gas prices for them haven't even went up yet. You know what I'm saying? For them to make their orders, that mm-hmm. shit ain't even went up mm-hmm. yet. So how the fuck they passing the the, the yeah. charge on already? They ain't even got charged mm-hmm. that shit. I'm gonna do what my man did. I'm sorry, man. What's that? It's an opportunity to get more money, so they just took it. Y'all don't see that nigga, man? Am I the only motherfucker that see that nigga? With the horse? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. fucking the horse. Yeah. Nigga galloping up kind of like, well, Unless that horse got a sidecar, nigga, shit. I don't know what you gonna do? Hmm? <laughs> unless that horse got a sidecar, nigga. I always go you by got myself. got a whole family, nigga. I go by myself anyway. You know that. Yeah, yeah, radar anyway. superstar, yeah. nigga. You gonna need two horses and a wagon. <laughs> 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 Two horses in the water. Yeah! Y'all sit out of here. Yeah, girl. Sit out. Go, girls. Wow. <laughs> no. I do not Stupid have that many goddamn children, man. <laughs> if you had them grandkids, then you do shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. You mm-hmm. do. And the alternate family and shit. What? So, anyway, uh. The alternate family. We about to get up out of here, dog. <laughs> wow. It's Monday motherfucking morning, dog. Um. Yeah, I guess we lost it on YouTube and shit. Uh. So I'll, I'll repost this shit. If you watch it on Facebook, I'll repost it on YouTube later on. The shit. I'll post that right now. We'll go around the block one last time before we get out of here, dog. Uh, Monday morning. Uh, I mean, Monday afternoon, Monday night. Ain't nothing really going on today, dog. Uh-uh. So, uh, you know, whatever you go do. Uh, arrive alive, I suppose, and shit. And yeah. if, you, if you went to that concert last night, that bitch looked lit as fuck. Yeah. So uh, I think it was a uh, new addition Some other motherfuckers or something mm-hmm. uh, That shit like it was lit as hell So if you didn't make it to work today And shit Hopefully stayed up to watch the show This right, morning right, right. <laughs> Angry man dog Final <laughs> sentiments you want to leave the people with dog Hey look at here man To each his own yeah. I mean, If you can't handle that Then you just can't handle that yeah. But I'm okay with that I feel you You know what I mean I don't care if she make more than me yeah. I mean shit some plus on my end. I would, I would think so. That's yeah, how I'm looking it. at it. Right. You know what I mean? I am not going. No, I'm not going to complain about that. Right. Like I said, the only way it'd be an issue if she felt like she made more than me and tried to, you know, keep testing my fucking manhood because yeah. of that. Right. That's the only time it's going to be a problem. Yeah, that uh-huh. can be a problem. Sure. But other than that, no, I'm still going to be the man of that house. I'm still right. going to be the man in that relationship. Yeah. If kids are involved, I'm still going to be the, the motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, I don't care what you make. <laughs> right. Because like I said, I'll be, I'm always going to be able to take care of myself. Yeah. You know, from any aspect, you know, economics, how, you know, mm-hmm. nigga, give me a needle and thread I can sew. <laughs> right. I you know what I'm saying? You know, I'll be able to take care of my goddamn self. Yeah. So that's about it, man. But like I said, I'm 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 very interested to hear what the fuck, you know, the, the direction they went in with. Yeah, so I'm going to find that whole podcast. And yeah, see. like I said, I'm, 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 you know, I guess y'all did what y'all needed to do because niggas want to listen to your show now. Yeah, You know right. what I'm saying? And, um, Definitely. I hope that age test come back negative for you later on today. <laughs> Damn. You know. Damn, you talking to a nigga that's listening? No, you ain't talking to me. I ain't talking to age test. <laughs> Must be talking about one of the listening and shit. Sorry for niggas out here who got age and shit. Man. My money, what you say, bro? I, just, <laughs> fuck, I don't know what this nigga talking about. Oh, uh, no. I say, bro. Man, no matter what the situation is, bro, like if you got a lady that got your back 100% and all the way got your back and know her position and know your position, nigga, you winning. You know right. what I mean? Like you winning, winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and like he said earlier, you know what I mean? Like it, it motivates you to get on your shit better. You know what I'm saying? Right. To bring more to the table. You know what I mean? Like, like it does. Like, like honestly, like I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be one thousand. My old lady always made more money than me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like at the beginning, you know what I mean? And then shit, you know, I had to do what I had to do. Like I right. said, like like I said, it motivates you to fucking get out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, show what you about, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you got to put on a different set of shoes, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, when you ain't by yourself no more, you right. know what I mean? Right. So you got to put on your motherfucking daddy shoes, you got to put on your motherfucking... Wifey shoes, you gotta put on all the motherfucking <laughs> shoes. You know what I'm saying? All the shoes. Right, right, right. I mean to be like, you know what I'm saying, like 
I have a successful family. I think you know yeah. what I mean. Period. You know, what sure. I mean? like you can't, you just can't worry about what's going on. Like what other but motherfuckers talking about. Like my man. Like what the fuck are you talking about, bro? I really don't know. I, I, don't, I, I really want to see I this full podcast. You don't. You don't, You must have not ran across any successful women, right? Yeah, or it just don't feel like you. You can. You can yeah. do anything with it. You know that, and that's that's your that's your problem. Yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> Right, that's your problem. Don't fuck it up for the rest of us. Exactly. Oh, on that note, dog. So you taking all qualified applicants? No, all qualified. Af, I was about to say applicants. Applicants. (laughs) All the motherfucking applicants. Yeah, yeah. she overqualified. Let's go. No, that's no bueno. Yeah, it don't make sense to me. Like I said, I think that if you go in with with that kind of ideology, that just means that you feel some kind of way about yourself Mm -hmm. and what you can. Contribute. I think that's the only way I can look at it. Again, I ain't gonna call these niggas weirdos yet. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna find this goddamn podcast. And if it's anything like this clip, then yes, these niggas is weirdos, dog. I have no idea. And maybe this works for their life. But uh, you know, maybe them and uh, Kevin Samuels can kick, can hit it off. And shit. Because the nigga in the purple was shaking his head like, no, 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 mm-hmm. sir. Yeah. I want to see what they fucking talking about too. Yeah. Low key. I'm gonna see. And then just uh, keep up with us and shit, dog. I'll probably post it on my IG. Uh, if we find the, the actual link Cause uh, yeah I, I want to see all this yeah, shit yeah. Yeah. But yeah So right now I'm gonna reframe Calling weirdo I'm gonna call them Pre-weirdos and shit right now mm-hmm. I think there's no There's no truth in that dog. I mean it, it could be some truth I mean that's people in general though Sometimes people get You know Overcome with power and shit Whether that come from money Or a uh, position Or whatever and shit So that could be That could go either way That could be a dude Or a woman and shit Honestly mm-hmm. I mean cause think about it Don't Don't you know, wait till you get me, then go try to find a job or a career. I want you to have that shit before you find my punk ass. <laughs> right, so he ain't got to struggle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't wait. That. Don't, don't. Okay, okay. So if I'm last on the list, I'm right. cool with that. Yeah. I'm cool with you sure. saying I had to graduate from college. I had to give me a good job. Now I can start me, you know, my shit. Oh, yeah. No motherfucking Cool problem. with that, right? Exactly. So, you know, because you know what that means. If she do all that shit before she gets you, nigga, now you gonna hire, probably gonna have to help pay for school debt. Mm. You gonna probably have to help her do this and help yeah. her do that. But if she come into the situation where her shit already established, mm-hmm. then it's like, all right, you know what I mean? Same I, like I can appreciate that. Yeah, same like it'd be easier. Yeah, I, I help you from that point on because, you know, 90% of the bullshit that is out the way. If you have mm-hmm. a career and you got a good job and you making this amount of money, you didn't took care of your shit. Right. right. Quote, unquote. Your, your shit, shit. Yeah. right you know what I'm saying cause women the first thing they do is hate for us to bring some baggage into a goddamn relationship facts you know bad credit child support you know uh, probation <laughs> right. fees and hell yeah warrants warrants and <laughs> right. car notes and you know right. you got three cars and three car notes and barely got a job right, right? you know what I'm saying <laughs> So, but it, it, but it's not all right for her to do this. <laughs> was, was that a shot? <laughs> it went over my head at first. Nigga, fuck you. This, this is this is my this is my final sentence. Nigga, why you still talking? Because <laughs> you asked me a question. Nigga, goddamn. Anyway, dog, we we about this motherfucker, dog. Uh, it's Monday, dog. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow we actually will be filming episode ten of the Oh Yeah We Tapped In podcast. Uh, tenth episode will be filmed down at Wall Street, dog. Shout out to DJ Cuts. And the uh, squad over there, dog, down at Wall Street. Make sure you check them out. Uh, we'll be filming on location there tomorrow, and it'll drop Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on eBlockRadio.com. Man, shout out to uh, my man Huey and Tap. Uh, yeah, that's it, dog. We up out this motherfucker, dog. Mm-hmm. So whatever you go do today, man, make sure that you do arrive alive, dog. Mm-hmm. Till the next time, you already know what it is. The live is cloud radio show on the planet earth cast straight from the e-block radio live on your dial right this moment man this is the wake and bake show Smoke got my man song. angry man in the building negative results for my man <laughs> my nigga punk money holding it down yeah, you already know though and of course man it's your boy q lewis holding it down live from the 48205 man red zone peace out y'all yep <laughs> <laughs> you never been on e-block bitch you too excited <laughs>